Producer Ryan Tronje is on the other side of the studio. And Ryan, you've got new information about how many people actually read terms and conditions before they click agree. Yeah, six Londoners agreed to exchange their firstborn child for a one-time free Wi-Fi connection, all because they didn't read the terms and conditions. It's part of a study measuring how much attention we really pay online. Let's take a look at what researchers discovered. Only 7% of us read the full terms and conditions when buying an online service, because if we did read everything, the average user would spend 76 days a year reading through contracts. The study also found 58% would rather read a credit card bill and 12% would rather read the phone book. And Lionel, this study has a lot of useful data, but I don't think the problems with our attention spans, I think it's with contract law that develops like pages of agreements every time I download an app. Well, I know, you look at it and it says, you know, terms and conditions and you scroll oh, up, man, you can't read any yeah. of that stuff. No. But yeah, giving up your firstborn for free Wi-Fi? Read the contract. Are you sure that was a mistake? <laughs> no, just kidding, please, all right. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Well, how was George Clooney's wedding, Ryan? That's right, you weren't invited. Anyway, he's married.